Hey everyone, I'm Tage Pine and welcome to Moon River. What is Moon River, you ask? I like to call it a top-down screen wrapping puzzle game. In my first video on this, I said that it would release in December, however it got delayed, so the new release date is somewhere in Q1 2019, so in the next few months. And uh, well, this is what it looks like. Um, this game starts a little bit different, but the core of the game is a puzzle game, which is uh, this. Um, basically, which is what you see here, <laughs> basically you're supposed to get to those checkpoints and uh, whenever you get to a checkpoint, the screen will move. Um, besides that, there's no way of moving the screen, so only if you get to the next checkpoint, the screen moves forward. Now the trick is that when you leave the screen, you will enter it from the other side. So you're wrapping around, that's uh, true for left and right and up and down. And, um, well, that creates some interesting puzzles. Um, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. In this, in this case, we have to hit the button, so we just go down and uh, go over here. And then go down there and activate the checkpoint, which moves the screen again, which changes where I can go, because the screen, the, uh, the borders of the screen just moved um, to a different area, which is a really interesting mechanic, in my opinion. And the game makes good use of it. For the most part. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more uh, later. But let, let me just show you a few more uh, puzzles in this. So, okay. There's also some some weird third dimension thing going on. So, when I actually go down here, I will fall. You will see here. And the falling is... It is consistent, but it's it, it <laughs> it's weird. Um, basically, you always end up on the on the part of the, of the level which is the most up, I guess, the most in the the most north <laughs> of where you could land. Um, so basically, if I would if I would jump down um, here, I can't because there's a wall. But if I could jump over this wall and go down there and leave the screen, I would actually end up here because I could not land on the wall. But if I would jump down here, which I can't again because there's a wall, um, I would end up uh, up there. Maybe, maybe we can see that later. It's it's a little confusing at first, but it's consistent, but it's really strange. Um, but it kind of makes sense for, for the game, I guess. It doesn't really make sense, but it's there for the puzzles to work for the most part. Um, that was probably pretty confusing, but maybe you will see what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, let's just... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, right. This button is timed. So I'm um, just going the, the long way. Ooh, it's not cutting it. Well, there's no long way. We just have to be fast, but um, there are levels where you have to take the short way or it will not work out. And I, I'm sure we see one. I always played, uh, I already played those levels. I completed the game already. Um, so I jumped back to a certain point uh, to show you um, the core mechanics of the game. So uh, I, it, it, it's been a while though since I played it. So I kind of have to remember that, that. This is what I meant earlier. I have to take the shortcut here or, or the time will not be enough. So I have to, I cannot just do do this, go up here, run over there. That's, that's not enough time. It will close before I'm there. What I have to do, it's pretty obvious if you think about it, but it's, it's still a neat little trick or a neat little puzzle uh, is you have to go up here and then go to the left and get in there. And there we go. It's pretty cute. Um, like the, the mechanic is pretty cute. Uh, it, ju it just works well. It's it's a fun mechanic. Um, you feel clever when you solve the puzzles, even though they're not that complicated for the most part. Uh, so we just okay. Wait, wait. Maybe we can demonstrate here. So if I if I go down here, I will actually I will show you. Well, let me just first jump down here, and you see why I end up. I will end up here. If I would have jumped down more to the left, I would have landed here. Which doesn't make any sense, <laughs> but it's just how the game works. So yeah, you land on the first spot you can land, basically, whenever you fall. Uh, so uh, we press the button. Oh, we don't need that button yet. Oh, that, by the way, oh yeah, I can jump. Yeah, here again, that's that's really strange. So I can't, I, I can okay, that, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I can do that as well, though. I can jump below the level, <laughs> which is strange. Uh, but even more strange is this. Like, uh, what? <laughs> What is going on here? That's not how 3D works, right? <laughs> like, yeah. Um, but it works. Like, it's as I said, it's consistent, and it, as soon as you like wrap your head around it, it works uh, for the game. Um, so that's just how how it is, I guess. Um, okay, wait. This one now we need this button. Uh, oh yeah, we have to use this now to get there, and then jump down here to get over there. The character will jump automatically when you get to a ledge. Um, this one was a little tricky at first. I remember this. That I remember that I got stuck on this one. Um, let's see if I can figure it out uh, more efficiently this time. Uh, I think there is not enough time if I just go here and go over there. There's not enough time. Like this takes too long. 
yeah, this takes too long. So instead, I have to. Well, I can just no. I cannot. I cannot go down here because there's a wall. I can, however, go down here, land on that thing, and come back here. Um. So what was the solution to actually the actual solution to this level, though? I think it was to go to the right. Blech. Oops. Got stuck on a wall. So let's press the button again. Um. Walk to the, no. Wait. I can't jump here. Oh yeah. Wait. I got it. Um. I just go up here and jump. And there we go. That should be enough time. There we go. Yeah, that's the core mechanic, of the core mechanic of the game. However, there are more mechanics later on. I can't show you because the game, unfortunately, only has one save file and autosave is so you you can't and just doesn't have like you 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 just play the game and there's no way of jumping around, no level select, no save uh, save slots, nothing. It, you will just continue where you left whenever you leave. Um, <clears throat> which which means I cannot really show you the other mechanics, but there are more mechanics, like, all mechanics wrap around this, or work work with this core mechanic, but they they advance it. So, for example, um, later on you have um, th those, th the checkpoints will be movable, for example, which is really, really crazy. Like, it's it makes for really interesting levels um, or puzzles because you have to you you can move around the screen by pushing the thing that, by pushing the checkpoint. The checkpoint is not like a thing on the floor; then it's like like a little stone, and <laughs> it's it's really confusing at first, but it works really well. Um, right, that's not what I'm supposed to do. What I'm doing? Uh, which one is the one that opens first? Uh, the lower one. So we have to actually get this one first, then get this one go through there and there are a few more mechanics like that and they're just all they're all really neat and they all work really well so that's that's the good part of the game let me talk about the bad things uh, I mentioned one thing already no proper level select or safe system um, also in general the options are pretty lackluster let me show you really quick uh, there is a pre-game unity launcher with the resolution settings with no mode and rebindable hotkeys but yeah it, it would be nice to have at least hotkeys in the game uh, besides that we have this which is not a lot also you can see that there are black bars at the left and right of the screen which is also very unfortunate um, so it's not on a um, 1080p, or it doesn't, it's, the the resolution is not 1080p for some reason, and it doesn't scale. Um, so so that's that's unfortunate, so the technical side of the game, it's not great. There are also, I encountered a few, or one game-breaking bug, I think it's fixed, it, I think it got fixed in the meantime, but actually you see it in my first video, I think it got fixed, and uh, there's, at least there is a very easy workaround, you just pause the game and uh, and continue. I think, uh, and leave the game. Now you you leave the game and restart the game, and then you're back at the last checkpoint. That's how it works. Um, anyway, the the main thing I'm I that annoyed me about the game, or not annoyed me, but the main downside is it is very very short. And I'm usually a big fan of short games. Um, I think it, it took me two hours to beat this or something, or even less maybe. Um, I'm a fan of short games, um, but this game was not. It didn't felt over yet. Like all the puzzle mechanics where like it started to get interesting. It got to the point where I said, okay, now I got all the basics in my head, now give me some crazy cool puzzles, and the game just ended. And that was that was very unfortunate. I think they would have like so many cool mechanics and they did not really got explored a lot. Like there's some basic puzzles with all the mechanics and some of them are a little tricky, but um, there, there's so much more space, I guess is the right word here, like design space for those mechanics. Um, so it's very unfortunate that they that it did not get used. Like the game is just way too short, in my opinion. Um, there, there was this mechanic should be explored more, and it is not, unfortunately. Um, so let, let me solve this level really quick before I continue talking because this looks dumb. What I'm doing here. Uh, what? So this button opens that door. Uh, I can get over there. No, well, yeah, I can by doing this. That's not fast enough, though. Oh yeah, I. Okay, I see. Uh, I have to use the shortcut here. Go down. <clears throat> Be faster than that. There we go. And uh, now I can wrap around here. Press this button. Uh, probably just jump here. Go down here and continue. There we go. The other weird part of the game is um, that, or the weird thing about the game is that the start and the end of the game are very different to what you see here. Like this is a pretty straightforward puzzle game. Um, there's no, no, well, almost no 
skill in executing the puzzle. Sometimes you have to move a little quick, but that's it. Like, besides that, it's a pure puzzle game. The start of the game, like the first few minutes, uh, which you can see in my first video, or uh, enter the final boss, however, are completely different to this. The final boss still uses their screen wrapping mechanic, uh, it's still important there, but for the most part, it's still like it's it's a dexterity game at that case in that in those cases, and that's really weird. Um, and I, I didn't have fun with the last boss. Like it was a cool idea to use the screen wrapping in a boss fight. Like it's a cool idea, but I I think the execute, execution was lacking. So the the final boss fight, um, yeah, annoyed me quite a bit. I I I would have I probably would have quit out if I would have known that the game was over afterwards. I just played through it because I was like, I want to see the puzzle afterwards. And after way too many tries and way too many deaths, I, um, well, beat the boss and was very, very, <laughs> very depressed or disappointed that the game just ended after that. So um, that, that was not fun. And also the beginning of the game is, is um, yeah, very different as well. It's just, you may, mainly walk around a little bit. Um, and hit some things with your sword, which is <laughs> the sword, which is, I don't know, it's just a real clash with the main, or with the core part of the game. Um, I guess we jump over here. Uh, this buttons in white. What am I doing? I can't, like, I can't play this game while talking, like, obviously. Um, I, I guess we just, we just do this, right? Yeah, this was not even a puzzle, this was just a, <laughs> just a screen to get to the next part. <laughs> I'm running around like an idiot because I'm talking and can't think while talking. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> oh, I feel dumb now. Um, okay, uh, I guess we go down here and jump over there, which opens up this one, which is interesting. Probably just rinse and repeat though. There we go. There we go. So yeah, and I, I think I said most of the things I, I said already about the game. Oh yeah, I, by the way, there's a, this will not break the game. There's an infinite loop, um, like cancel thingy. <laughs> it, it will not let me loop infinitely. Um, so we can go over here, obviously, to solve this. And um, yeah, yeah, I, there's not, not much more to say about this game. It's a very small game. As I said, it's very short. There's not too many mechanics to explain. Um, and there's not much to say about it. It like the art style and the music stuff. It's kind of cute. It's obviously low budget indie, um, but it's it's it fits well together. It works well for the game. I think. It's, I don't think it's like I'm not super appealed by it, but it works. And uh, for the most part, I'm uh, mechanics are more important for me anyway. And as I said, the mechanics are really interesting, and they work really well for me. Um, except that there is not enough of it <laughs> and that the final boss fight was very infuriating but besides that there's not much to say here so i think i'm gonna wrap this up oops oh no that's not how you do it uh you have to go up here go over there go down there go over there press this button turn back go down there and there we go and there we go. So yeah, it's called Moon River. Uh, it's gonna release in the first quarter of next year, so in the next few months. Um, link is in the description below if you wanna check it out for yourself. I'm TH Pine, thanks a lot for watching, have fun and see you next time.